Oh, hello there. I didn't expect to see anyone out here. You don't seem dressed for this weather. It's freezing out here. Are you alright? You're lost? That's no good. Between the monsters and the cold, these woods can be quite dangerous, especially at night. Not many people come out this way, you know? You're lucky I happened by. But hey, hey, let's get you somewhere warm, okay? Well, I have a cabin nearby where you can rest and warm up if you'd like. Hopefully the cold hasn't done any real damage to you, but I may be able to treat any injuries you have too. A doctor? Uh... No. I'm an alchemist, actually. But, uh, don't worry. I know potions and stuff. Mm, it's no trouble on my part. I promise. Part of the job, I suppose. I know it can be a bit awkward to stay with someone you've just met. But I'm not going to leave you out here to freeze. Besides, it's only a matter of time before something else comes this way, and you might want to avoid that. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, let's get you back to the cabin. It's not too far. Here, take my hand. Your hands are freezing. Put these gloves on. Hold out your hands. Right hand. And now your left hand. There. You're welcome. They can be a bit tricky to get on, but they're infused with a trait called beaming sun, which makes them really warm, so it's worth it. <laughs> the power of alchemy. Anyways, come on, let's go. It's not far. You know, it's rare to see anyone this deep in the forest. So I'm curious, what were you doing out here? You got lost on your way to the kingdom, huh? Hmm. It's definitely pretty easy to lose your way out here. The trail can be hard to see. And with the snow, everything kind of looks the same. Still, you should try to be more careful, okay? I mean, sure. It's dangerous for me too. There's the cold, the monsters, and the slippery slopes. But that's why I have my stuff, as well as some bombs and some medicines. Never can be too prepared, can you? Shh. I had to say something. Oh, that? That's a snow slime. Well, quite a few of them it seems. I've also heard that the slimes can be called squishies. Instead of account of their texture, but... <laughs> Regardless, at night, this field plays home to snow and crystal slimes. I was hoping we could get through here before then, since it's the shortest path back to the cabin. Well, we could fight them. Crystal slimes are stronger, but even against those numbers, I could get us through there. On the other hand, 
and be loud. Plus, I don't like hurting them if I can avoid it. They're so cute. What? What are you? Oh, of course they're cute. N not as cute as you, of course, but. Anyways, I led us this way so we could get you out of the cold sooner. And us just standing around here isn't helping. Let me check my basket. I might have... Aha! Uh -huh. I found it! This is a treasure key. I find them a pain to make, but I usually try to keep one with me. It works by... Uh... Well, that's not important. What is important is that it will make us invisible to the slime so we can pass through safely. Yes, I'm sure it's safe. And even if anything were to happen, I'll protect you. I promise. See? I've got my staff that I can use to fight. Remember when I said I could get us through my force? But we need to get you out of this cold, so let's go. Take my hand. Shh. There, there. wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> hey, you've gotta have faith in my alchemy, okay? Anyways, the cabin's just over this hill. We're almost there. Here we are. Make yourself at home, okay? <gasps> I see you found the sofa. Rizuri and I- Oh, that's the witch who owns this cabin. <laughs> Wait, we never introduced ourselves, did we? My name's Mio. But you can call me Mio. I'm an alchemist from the kingdom of Zuria. I have a workshop there. But I also share this cabin with one witch named Rizuri. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Even if I wish you were under better circumstances for you. Uh, anyways, I'm sure you'll find that Silva quite comfortable. <laughs> Rizuri and I quite often nap there instead of our beds, in fact. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Okay, let me grab a towel and some clothes for you to change into. Yours are all wet from the snow. Hmm, which ones will fit? These ones, probably? Here, I think these may fit you. Hopefully they're not too small. Why don't you try off and change while I get my cauldron going? Perfect. I don't mind if you change out here if you're comfortable. But please, feel free to use the bedroom over there if you prefer. Okay, culture is set. What should I make? Hmm, maybe a dragon breath. Maybe if I made it weaker, it wouldn't be too hot. Or... 
Oh, looks like you're right that they fit. How do they feel? I'm glad to hear it. Okay, next order of business. We'll get you warmed up, but are you hurt? Any cuts or scrapes? <laughs> Broken bones? Hmm. Yeah, the ice is slippery, especially when you don't see it. I'm guessing you braced with your arm when you fell. Well, it certainly looks like it hurts. But, as consolation, it doesn't look too serious. Your leg too, you said? May I see? Hmm. Also doesn't look too serious. Just painful. Don't worry, I can definitely patch you up. Mm hmm As I said, part of the job. I'm more of an apothecary than an alchemist sometimes. What with the jobs that people commission me for? Besides, I'm not just going to leave you in pain like that. What? Do I seem that mean to you? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, let's get something for you. Ugh, which barrel is it? I swear Vizuri never puts anything back. Mm, not that I'm that much better, but... Ah, I got it. And I see you've also found the cozy blanket. That one's my favorite. There's a rule that it has to stay here on the sofa, or else Rizuri will never get to see it again, and vice versa. Anyways, once the cauldron's ready, I'll start making something better. But in the meantime, I've got this healing cell for you. It won't heal the underlying injuries, but it should at least patch the skin and remove some of that sharp pain, okay? Alright, come here and hold out your arm. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. Would you prefer to do it yourself? Are you sure? Uh, if you're sure, then... And your leg? How do you feel? I'm so glad. The soreness is to be expected since it's only healing the surface. And the itchiness should go away pretty soon. Good. Good. Well, I'll be out here for at least a few more days to replenish my ingredients. So you're welcome to stay here and rest up during that time. And then, we can go into Osiria together. <laughs> so maybe you won't get lost then. How about that? Alright, it's settled then. In any case, it seems that the cauldron is ready now. To be honest, I find that most healing potions can be... kinda unpleasant. I mean, the standard ones use a spinach-like herb as its base. Sure, it's effective, but bleh, you know? <laughs> I'll make something better for us, okay? Okay, grapes. No, not the bitter ones. And it looks like I've got some ice cream here. Ah, but I'm out of ice bombs! Well, no matter. I'll just make another one in that case. Hmm. An ice elemental stone, a fire elemental one, some copper, some water. Mm hmm? Being an alchemist? Huh. I remember as a little girl being fascinated by what seemingly boundless things I saw alchemy does. And. It's incredible to be a part of that, you know? 
when I first started learning. I had this reference book that my alchemy master gave me. It said that to do alchemy was to mix various things and make various items. <laughs> I thought it was funny and also unhelpfully vague. Like what does that even mean? But as I kept studying and got better, I began to understand why they'd written that. It's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> that is, in fact, what I do. Of course there's a rhyme and reason to it, but if you don't know what's happening, it looks just like magic. You want to watch? Sure, I don't mind. I've got a chair here, but feel free to bring the blanket over. Well, there aren't that many alchemists, so anyone who's interested is certainly welcome to watch. Uh, well, you know, sometimes I wonder why there aren't more of us. Myself. In principle, anyone can learn alchemy. But it is, admittedly, pretty difficult to start doing. You'll need a cauldron, recipes, ingredients... Especially when those ingredients are rare. Getting them is usually either expensive, or dangerous, or both. Unfortunately, the only real option is to become some other alchemist's apprentice to start off. But... <sighs> it is a lot of fun, and you can make some pretty cool stuff. We'll start by making polishing powder. I, I, I know it doesn't sound like something to eat, but it's fine, I promise. Just trust me, okay? So first, we'll take this fire element stone and the copper and we'll put it in the cauldron. Like that. And then we'll take my stuff and use it to mix them. Of course, we can make this of a different kind of stone. But for what we're aiming to make, we'll want the heat of the fire stone. Yep, yeah, exactly. The ingredients you use can have a huge impact on the quality and properties of what you make. Even if you make the same type of item either way. And now... We mostly just wait. Twirl and swirl. Twirl and stir. Twirl and stir. And there we go. The polish powder is done. So, what do you think? But not completely different. This is a good example where the final product is quite clearly related to the ingredients, right? Plus, baking is kind of similar in that way, isn't it? We still have more synthesis to do. Wanna watch those as well? <laughs> I love your excitement! This one's a bit more dangerous if things go wrong, so we'll need to be more careful, okay? Alright, so we'll take the polish powder we just made, we'll add some water, and this time, an ice element stone. The polish powder acts as an abrasive, pulling at the glacier stone's surface, which helps to draw out its power, since we're making a bomb that's exactly what we need. Well, yeah, we're making a bomb, but it's not like it's gonna explode or anything. We're just gonna use it to quick freeze everything. Uh, well I could use it to make soup instead, I guess. But then you just complain about me using mushrooms you don't recognize that I gathered in a forest. <laughs> I promise everything will be fine. I had the same reaction, actually. The first time I saw Master make this. I do say so, and I'm okay. 
Two steps down and one to go. See? Perfectly safe. What kind of careless alchemist do you think I am? Who'd let some stupid explosion hurt the person she just saved? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Should we do the last one now so that we can have our dessert? Ah, no, what I said was that we're making something better than the potion. And these grapes, and this ice cream, and the ice bomb we just made? Actually, this one's also pretty straightforward. Can you guess what this will make? Mm, I did say that, didn't I? Well, really cold grape ice cream is a good guess, but not quite. Or, well, that would be the normal result. So you get partial credit. But like I said, we're making something better. And what's better than cold grape ice cream? Warm grape ice cream, of course. It's a bit precise, but yeah, I can do it. <laughs> I actually did by accident the first time I made it myself. Just pure dumb luck, but it was such an amazing and unforgettable taste. I'm someone who's usually cold all the time, so being able to have a cold, warm dessert, it's nice and cozy, you know? As for how it works, remember the firestone we used for the polish powder and that loss synthesis? Mm, it's not a beginner technique, so it's hard to explain to you how exactly I did it. But what I did was you used the ice bomb to make the recipe work. Quick freezing the ingredients together, like I told you. At the same time though, I amplified the warmth that was buried in the firestone, hence the polished powder. And the bomb to make an ice cream worm. Eh, well, the exact details aren't exactly important. So, it seemed complicated, but that's okay. Alright, synthesis complete. Now we can eat our ice cream. Let's go sit on that sofa. Here you go. I know it's a bit weird at first, but I hope you like it. But? Oh. This is a healing remedy. That's the other thing I love about it. The grapes have some healing properties that also get brought out in a synthesis. More accurately, this boosts the rate at which you naturally heal. <laughs> and that makes it great when you aren't hurt too, you know? It's getting pretty late. Are you tired? <laughs> Well, you're welcome to fall asleep. It may not have been the best day for you, but you're safe now, okay? Good night.